I've got potato and egg, and I'm gonna show you the delicious potato recipe that I have made twice this week. It's so good and easy to make. I'm gonna have this for a meal. So I'm hungry and I'm going to show you something that I make that is so simple. I have one medium potato, scallion, two large eggs, some salt, and pepper. It's time to make lunch. Here we go. I'm gonna start by peeling the potato. This literally comes together quick, easy, and it's so delicious. Especially if you like potatoes. Actually, I could make hash browns on my own just shredding the potato like this, but I wanted to add some extra protein because this is going to be my meal, so I'm adding egg. In a bowl, I'm adding some cold water, and I'm just going to rinse all of my shredded potato. That just sort of helps to remove the starchiness from the potato, and it kind of yields crispy edges when you're making it this way. So clean hands, I'm just going to mix that around into the cold water. Essentially, I could do this over a sink, but you know, kinda wanna show you what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna put the potato that's rinsed into this wire mesh strainer, and you kinda wanna squeeze out all the extra moisture. You could essentially put all of this drained potato into a tea cloth and also squeeze it out. Okay, so I'm gonna prep my scallions. I love scallions. If I didn't have scallions, I'd add a little bit of white onion diced into the mix to give it a nice flavor. And if you don't have either of those, you could just garnish with chives. I do that all the time. Okay, so I'm just going to slice and chop this up. I'm also gonna prep the whites because that is going into this. I'm going to use the entire thing. By the way, a little kitchen or food hack is to save the root end of the scallion. You can plant it and let it regrow and you'll just have more scallion. Okay, so in a preheated pan, I'm gonna add some cooking oil. You could also use olive oil. I think this is avocado oil or vegetable oil. And now the potato. And if you want more potato, use a large potato. I just had one medium potato for this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just cook this for several minutes and kind of saute it in the pan. Essentially, I will be spreading this out into the pan, but I want to make sure that it cooks through. Even though it's shredded, it doesn't take much time. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, season this how you like, be creative, and it's very versatile with seasoning. So I'm just gonna move that around and saute for about somewhere between three to five minutes. Essentially, you want that potato to cook through. And actually, I'm going to add the scallion whites into the pan, and I will save the, the green part of the scallion for later. And as soon as the scallion whites hits the pan, it smells so good in my kitchen. Again, if you are new to my channel, I've said this many times before, I love potatoes as a meal. So this right here is just, I could eat this, but like I stated earlier, I wanna add some protein with the egg. So I'm adding some cracked black pepper and my pepper grinder is not working right. Give that a mix and just continue cooking. In a bowl, I'm going to crack two large eggs. And if you want to make this a bigger portion, double it. It's a great recipe for two people and it's so filling, easy, quick to make. And I'm just going to beat and scramble this in the bowl. By the way, sometimes I like to add shredded carrot, some shredded zucchini into the mix and really make this packed with veggies and just heartier. It's up to you, but I'm going for simple today. So now what I'm going to do is pour over my egg into the pan. And this is just so simple. And you honestly don't even have to roll this into an omelet. Just cook it all together, it all works. Okay, so I'm just going to try to evenly spread the egg. Essentially, you're sort of making like this egg potato pancake. I am working with a medium heat. You don't wanna do this on high because you wanna take your time with this. And I'm gonna add a little more pepper. I'm actually obsessed with black pepper, if you haven't noticed, but you know, season and salt and pepper how you like. I'm also going to add the rest of those scallion green tops that I chopped up right onto the egg. And you'll notice that the edges are starting to cook faster than the center. So that allows me to kind of pick up the edges 
And what I'm going to do is just gently start to roll this on the edge. And this is how you kind of create the rolled omelet. And just kind of press, roll, and as it cooks, the center will cook through, the outside will get just a little bit crispy. I, I like that. By the way, I am making this meal for a late lunch, but I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. That's how much I like potato and egg. Okay, so you'll start to see that it's kind of getting difficult to sort of fold over and it kind of cracks in the center. Don't worry about it. I have a little more residual egg left, so I'm gonna put that on there. And I'm going to carefully use two of these wooden spatulas and kind of flip it over. Oh, and I love this nice little deep golden brown crust on the exterior. That's what I'm gonna do for the other side. And essentially, that's it. This is pretty much done. You can plate it up and eat, so good. So what I'm going to do is plate this up. And yes, this is my entire meal for myself. If I were making this for my family, I'd be making a couple of these because we love them. And I'm gonna garnish with some ketchup. I'll say that's optional. Sometimes I even do hot sauce or salsa. It all works. And I'm having a difficult time with this ketchup. And I'm also going to add the rest of the scallion tops as garnish. And this is lunch. Time to dig in. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see some of the simple things that I make myself when I'm cooking for one. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.